The battle in Ukraine is not just about tanks and trenches and grenades. It's a battle for influence. If you have influence, you're an extremely powerful pe person. I would argue that those Romanian grandmas who gave me my food will remember me for the rest of their lives. And you don't lie and you're on time and you work hard and you're good to everyone who's good to you. I think you'll have a massive influence. Look at my scenario. If I was being a piece of shit for years with all these chicks, I'd be in jail. It's amazing how what goes around comes around. It's truly amazing. When I see somebody who says they want something and they don't have it, I don't even think they truly even want it. There's things we'd like. I'd like to be able to figure skate. The person with the biggest might, is it the person that goes into politics? What is the best way to have the biggest impact? Yeah, so I think the world has always only ever been a battle for influence. Even if you look at the current battlefield, Ukraine is next door, it's five hours drive away. The battle in Ukraine is not just about tanks and trenches and grenades. It's a battle for influence. Who influences the people within this territory? Who is in charge of the thinking, the language, the mindset of people within this geographical area? Every single battle, every single pitched battle, every single argument, every single debate has always been a battle for influence. If you have influence, you're an extremely powerful pe person. All of us here are some of the most powerful people in the world. How many millions of people listen to us? We have massive influence. And I think you can have influence at the ground level. You don't have to be a famous podcaster or famously well-known to have influence. I would argue that those Romanian grandmas who gave me my food will remember me for the rest of their lives. I would like to believe I gave a positive influence and a positive impact on their lives for the rest of their life. I believe if you go through life and you're genuinely a good person, you try your best to be good to people and you're honest and you shake hands and you don't lie and you're on time and you work hard and you're good to everyone who's good to you, I think you'll have a massive influence. And I also believe, I truly believe that God is extremely giving. There's the saying, goes around, comes around, completely true. But I would say it comes from God. God is keeping an eye on you and he's paying attention to you and he knows the kind of person you are and the kind of things you do. And I don't believe if you're actually genuinely a good person all of the time, that you're not gonna get some good will back to you. Look at my scenario. If I was being a piece of shit for years with all these chicks, I'd be in jail. I'd be in jail. I could have never seen this coming, but the fact that I was nice, paid their taxi home, bought them food, looked after them, are you okay? I know we broke up, I'm sorry, I know it hurts, I just did it, I was nice about all of it, here I am, I'm fine. And so I could have never seen this matrix attack coming. It's amazing how what goes around comes around. It's truly amazing. If you're good to people, if you're generous to people, if you're helpful to people, you'd be amazed how much influence you can build up. I say this to people all the time. I don't think if you're a hardworking person who is honest, who shakes hands, who tries to learn, who does what they're supposed to do, who has a good heart, that you're truly really not gonna be able to get what you want. I think the universe is absolutely and utterly giving. When I see somebody who says they want something and they don't have it, I don't even think they truly even want it. You can have anything you want in the world. When a guy goes, I want a six pack, then why ain't you got one? If you wanted it, you'd have it. You'd like it, there's a bunch of things I'd like that I don't have but I don't want them. Everything I've ever wanted, I've got. I've never wanted something and not had it. We all know what we're talking about here. There's things we'd like. I'd like to be able to figure skate. Not enough to go learn to figure skate. It's but, a weird look if you figure out, although that other guy <laughs> dancing like the way you dance is doing a pretty the good bottom job. G, bottom G, yeah. you've seen this guy? He can figure skate. That but, guy kills the dance moves, Yeah, he's good. Way. But you're doppelganger. But if you truly want something, you're going to yeah. absolutely not have it. So when it comes down to influence, I think you start at the, at the base level, at the grassroots level. What if, I, what if this guy's dad, like, you know, for example, like, you know how um, when you 